Hi there, I'm Peter Robinson. I want to introduce you to the concept of a sponge city. But first of all, I'm going to introduce you to some basic hydrology that's associated with flood risk management. So if you come here and imagine what we've got here is natural environments coming through from a forest, agricultural land, suburban land and urban land. And what happens naturally in, in hydrology is that we get rainfall that comes along. So being in lockdown, please use your imaginations. I've got Storm Frank sitting here in this bottle. And when Storm Frank comes along into the, the tree area, naturally gets absorbed. Farmland gets absorbed, but it's a little bit more runoff. Suburban, we get quite a lot of absorption when we've got the grass areas. And in the urban area, we start to get quite a lot of runoff. And we can keep getting these storms coming along. And you can see how each of the different areas responds differently. Part of the challenge for the future is going to be climate change. So I've got the 2040 storm Frank sitting here and you can imagine what happens in the forest we're still getting a good amount of absorption and in the farm area we're still getting good absorption but we are getting some runoff. Suburban areas there's a little bit more and then in the urban areas we're getting huge amounts of additional runoff and that's where the concept of a sponge city comes in. Sponge being the ability to absorb water very strange on a very warm day in May talking about uh, runoff and flooding but the sponge city concept is going to be just as important in conserving water in the future. So whilst we're introducing the concept of a sponge city it doesn't mean that we have to tear up everything that we have already. We can work with nature and introduce little simple steps that mean that our lifestyles can be mitigated by natural small systems. For example here on this terrace what we've got is we've got a small gravel strip which is effectively the sponge that we've got and all the water and all the rain simply just runs off and drains into the gravel trench. So this is effectively the sponge that we've incorporated. So, likewise we don't have to take away all of our driveways we can keep parking our cars where we want it's just about the surface that we choose. Again here look we've chosen gravel and naturally all the water is just running in. Zero runoff. It doesn't just stop with patios and driveways, the next one is putting on roofs. This is our green roof where likewise when we use the watering can and sprinkle the water on, the water is getting absorbed quite naturally, massively reducing the amount of runoff that's being experienced in the drainage system. And uh, this will just make sure I don't get into trouble.